hi everyone and welcome to this quick video today i'm going to show you how you can create a function inside of an area engine that can control your uv your uvs uh, just like the bitmap node inside of this Linux. so basically we are going to create a function that can offset in both uh, x and y axis that can tile in both the axis that can mirror fix the and change its angle let's jump inside a new year engine i have a box here just like this thing i have created a material it's very simple just a texture applied to the base color i created an instance from this material and apply it to the box so first of all we are going to to create the rotation of the text for this I need a UV coordinate and a custom rotation. Custom rotation. I'm gonna plug the UV into UVs and the rotation center we are going to need a vector a vector to target uh, center I'm gonna convert the parameter and name it uh, this is basically telling the function where is the center of our map I'm gonna create a scanner to control the rotation angle I'm gonna name it rotation angle so let's put this to our UV and this this if I change the rotation angle to maybe 10 by 5 find here nothing happened because the value of the rotation angle has to be between 0 and 1 which is a little bit confusing so I'm going to divide my uh, rotation angle by 360 and then put it back to my function so now if I change this to something like it's going to work, so I'm going to apply this go into my material instance and I have here a uh, center and I have the rotation angle 19, 10 and my center control basically where is the center of my map as you can see I at five to be exactly in the center. So let's make the mirror effect. For this, I'm going to split uh, the red and green channel of my UV coordinate. For this, I'm going to need a mask. This will be my red. I'm gonna duplicate this. This is going to be my green. Basically, a uh, mirror in the texture is just flipping the, the RNG value of the coordinate. So I'm going to need a minus one. Duplicate the minus one. Now I can just combine two values of get there, but we want to control the mirroring inside our material instance. For this, I'm going to create a switch. Switch parameter. I'm gonna name the first one X. Yeah. And duplicate it. Name the other one Y. Yeah. Plug the 
for 2 I'm gonna plug this the minus and for plus just the uh, original one same thing for this and I'm going to combine the two values by and vector node and product text when I apply go to my material instance and I have my two parameter values you can see I can mirror my texture let's go back and uh, now we will create the offset by just adding a value to the x to the red and green channel and going add scalar parameter to this and i'm going to get it this is the offset Uh, oh, duplicate them and this is the y offset again we append and apply to our material instance and we have the x and y offset Let's go back. So for tiny, I'm going to create uh, by by x by x tiling in a global tiling. So for this, I need a multiply multiply a scalar parameter. I'm gonna name this. I mean default it's value to 1 duplicate this and do the same thing for the other x and this to y append it and for the global tiling I need another multiply and a scalar parameter just to hold S and click on scalar parameter or look here for scalar parameter it's the same thing look this and I'm gonna default it to value to 1 and name this global diamond and plug everything to my this. Apply. Go to my material instance, and I have more values to play with now. So rotation I'm going to be zero. Offset is zero. And I'm going to global tiling and tile this. Shift tiling. Or I um I or I can tile it by x and my y if I want so basically this is this is everything this is it so you can see that this is a very simple material but we already have a whole bunch of node here I'm going to select everything and copy it and create a function from this I still have my function here and I'm gonna delete and I'm going to create a new function parent texture and function U E open the function and paste everything in here it will plug this to the output and we 
We are going to group all our parameter. Let's create a group called QB argument. Let's take this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And this group, this one, and this one too. Argument. Let's Let's apply. Go to our material. I'm going to delete all this and look for function material. Let's allow me to bring my function, any function I created, and use it inside my material. I'm going to move it, coordinate, where is it? This is my UV coordinate and plug the result to my UVs. I'm going to apply and go back to my material instance. And you can see all our parameters are now grouped by this group, and we still have all our controls time, rotation angle, the offset. In both axes. So basically, this is it. I hope this can help you a little bit. And thank you for watching this video. And see you on the other. Video.